Um, Noah Barnett asked us if we have any favorite Burns Night memories. Totally different, different vibe now. Cult any favorite personal. Burns Night Burns memories? Burns Night memories or moments? You know, Uncle Angus, he got a little tipsy. <laughs> That's just normal, right? I don't know. Damn, Angus. Um, <clears throat> my, my, I don't have a ton of Burns Night memories. I would say the one that probably sticks out the most um, is one of the first Burns Nights I had was when uh, Kelly and I went to Scotland. I think it was the first time, maybe in the second time. So back in like the, the early 2000 noughts, like, well, not early, but you know, 2008, nine time for seven, eight, nine, somewhere in there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> Picture this. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo, one of those single digit. You know, young Rocky. Not gray hair, actual, actual darker hair in the beard, um, a little bit more hair up top. Um, uh, when we went over to Scotland for a trade show over in January, and uh, Kelly and I went to a friend of ours over in Glasgow. We were staying in Glasgow, or just outside Glasgow, and we went to our friend Andy and uh, Andrew and uh, Nicola. Um, we went over to their house and had a little bit of a burn supper. It wasn't anything like any, you know, extravagant, you know, gala, but it was a little burn supper in Scotland. You know, there was, there was more whiskey than there was poetry. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was a fun little evening with friends trying Scottish cuisine in Scotland, you know, a, a traditional esque way, um, with just a, a good, wholesome, you know, at home, fun thing it was it was a good uh, uh good experience with friends and ultimately that's what it's about there is pomp and circumstance there is you know the the address to the haggis there is poetry readings there is the whiskey there's the whole thing that surrounds it or can surround it but to me the one that you know stuck out was doing it with friends in their home in a foreign country to us um, and the fact that they opened their doors to us and we're like, Hey, let's do a thing. You know, that's cool. You're here during burn supper. Let's do it and show you, you know, Scottish hospitality. Yeah. So that's kind of the one that, that, you know, gets me in the feels. That's Eric. Cool. It's funny you mentioned it, uh, without kids basically. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> everything is better with, no, I just, kids. Not, well, no, you see, that's the thing. Cause I, I find it ironic because my favorite memory and I think about it is like, um, it always been just kind of informal for fun kind of a thing. And then um, not long after I started working here, I caught wind of the fact that they did one down at Sly Fox, which is a local brew pub. And uh, I decided I'm going to go and I'm going to take my kids with me. So um, that was the first time that they had actually heard um, Celtic music live. Uh, and it was also the first time that my son tried haggis. So that was fantastic. I really enjoyed seeing it through their eyes, you know, the way kids just make things special that way. So it's just like, you know, seeing my, seeing my daughter like, like with the music and then, and my son stealing my food, you know, that actually kind of made it memorable. I had nothing to do with the proceedings exactly, but, but that was cool. You know, it was very, very low key. It's a bar kind of, uh, burns I don't know like, about low you know. key. It was pretty packed in there generally. Oh, but you know what I mean. As, yeah, opposed, yeah, yeah. To, as opposed to everyone's Pompous wearing, everyone's wearing yeah. a Prince Charlie yeah. kind of burn supper. You know. Yeah, Celtic um, spirit. Terry Algier. Yes. Uh, is the yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, friend of ours. Yep. Um, nice guy. Um, yeah, that was a good. Yeah, I've been to the Sly Fox one. I yeah, don't know if fun. I was at that particular one. That one you were not, but there okay. were other ones that you had. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's it's. I agree. It's fun, uh, parentally speaking. Yeah. Um, to to watch the kids enjoy start enjoying the stuff that you were into. So yeah. I will say getting them involved younger, mm -hmm. where they mm -hmm. don't where they don't know any better, mm -hmm. <laughs> where they're forced to enjoy the culture that you're putting in front of them, and maybe they don't understand exactly what's in Haggis. Yeah, but it was perfect um, for them because you know I wouldn't take them to a formal supper; it just would be yeah. they'd be bored. Yeah, they might be might have been disruptive. It would have been less fun for me, you know. So, but this was like. Yeah, you know, perfect. How old so. were they when you when you brought them? Oh man, uh, <clears throat> ten and seven, I guess. Okay, so yeah. what we're saying is, if you have a ten year old, seven year old, take them to the bar. <laughs> it's get them exposed right. to bar culture right. early. Nah, it's not like a bar; it's a brew pub restaurant. I know, I know, I know. Come on, I know. You gotta now, wait till they're twelve to take them to a bar. Exactly, at least twelve. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. That's when they get their first shot. Um, right. No, but it's it's <laughs> no. Uh, in fairness, Sly Fox's brew pub is a cool little place, and it's it's an an entire thing. Yeah, with you know, with the band there, with the food there, it's yeah, it's a whole experience. It is a people's burn supper. Yes, as opposed to a highfalutin burn supper. Yes, both are good, but yeah, indeed. Mac, anything? Not Next really. Day. I mean, nope. Right, the, moving along then. <laughs> no, the only, I mean, the, probably the one, uh, I mean, Sly Fox, I've been to one or two of theirs. Um, but, but you know, the other one was, um, we've had them at War, War Two events. Ooh. Where we've done it more of a, I didn't know that. Of a frontline type thing. I've, I've only That's been cool. with maybe one, one or two of those. So, um, it's just something a little different atmosphere wow. uh, completely with Burnside it. Burnside so. in a bunker. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Mm. World War Two or World War One? We've done it both, uh, World okay. One and World okay. Two. So we've done it. When we used to huh. do. We used to have our uh, our events at Fourteen Town Gap before mm-hmm. we weren't allowed to have anything there anymore. Yep, I remember um, talking about that. We they did it there too. So nice. That's cool. Mm-hmm. What did you use for the haggis? Was it canned haggis or? The so the one we you actually know what I mean? had, like was it like a rash one haggis? actually we had haggis and uh-huh. then the other one was kind of a you know you know using your rations together to make it look like something that's what I was imagining <laughs> it's like you know we're gonna call this haggis mm-hmm. for tonight it's actually this you know this corned beef hash yep. and this thing from over here and don't ask what that is but now I was picturing that's you know, cool can haggis and using like a little military like you know can <laughs> opener type thing to mm-hmm. go around it mm-hmm. indeed mm-hmm. were they issued haggis. No, that I'm I, serious. That I don't know. Standard military issue haggis. No, it sounds like you would you would you would have special holiday foods if they could get it to you, you know. Yeah. At different things. I mean, you know, like you get a little bit of, you know, pudding for Christmas, you know, things like that. So I'm wondering if they ever issued I'm just haggis. Thinking, I would pretend. MRE haggis. Yeah. It's just you put a little water in there, you pull a tab and it heats up. <laughs> uh, uh, that I would sounds imagine delicious. officers an officer's yeah. mess would probably have right. it more so. Right, right. Hmm. Hmm. If you know out there about period rations and ethnic food mixed in with the rations, let us know. I just want to have I'm MRE really haggis now. <laughs> I want to go to an Army Navy store and get an MRE haggis. Uh, All right. Hey, thank you for joining us. After you subscribe and push the like button and the bell button, tell us in the comments about a Burns night that was very special for you. Who was with you? Where was the Burns supper? What was the food like? Obviously, it had haggis and was probably delicious, but what happened at that night to make it really memorable for you and those around you?